Chair recognizes Mr. Donald for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, real quick, Mr. Roth, um, you've stated already that uh, what happened with the the New York Post story was similar to the hack and leak scenarios from 2016. You also said that you you actually were opposed to deleting the New York Post uh, story. Uh, who advocated for the removal of the New York Post story? The company's decision to treat it as a violation. Mr. Roth, who at the company actually went over your recommendation? Because you're pretty high up. Who overrode you? The decision was communicated to me by my direct supervisor. Who was that person? Her name was Del Harvey. She okay. was the vice president of trust and safety at the time. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, Ms. Gaddy, real quick, you said uh, to the chairman earlier, and, and, and I want to paraphrase what I heard earlier, is that Twitter had no contact with anybody from the Biden team. Is that correct to your knowledge? Not to my knowledge. Put that up for me. Okay. Over my right shoulder, we have an email. Reference, this is, our, this is Saturday, October 24th, uh, 5.39 p.m., referencing five different tweets this is a, a, with a Twitter email chain. Under the line, it's more to review from the Biden team. Does anybody have a comment on how much interaction was happening with the Biden team? at Twitter with respect to tweets that they wanted Twitter to review? Ms. Gaddy, Mr. Roth? I'm not familiar with this email. So you're not familiar with this email, Mr. Roth? Are you familiar with this email? Only from what's been reported in the Twitter files. Had you, did you ever have contact with anybody from the Biden team? No, sir, I did not. We explicitly separated the teams that would interact with campaigns from teams like mine that were responsible for content marketing. How big was the organization in Twitter that was actually working with campaigns? I couldn't say for sure. Did you have any contact with the DNC? Directly? No, I did not. Did anybody at Twitter have any contact with anybody at the DNC? I think it's likely that somebody at Twitter did, yes. In these, in these emails, it's listed that these are, th these are tweets that had to be flagged from the Biden team. That's what's in the files. Um, you have no idea how many people actually in uh, engaged with the Twitter team or how frequently that engagement happened. No, and again, that was by design. We kept those functions separate from content moderation so that we could impartially assess reports like this. Do you know how many tweets were actually flagged and taken down at the behest of the Biden team? I wouldn't agree with the characterization of it as being at the behest of them. These tweets were reported, and Twitter independently evaluated them under its but the, rules. But the, but the email is very clear. More to review from Biden team. The response three hours later at the bottom, hold this up real quick so you can see. The request at the bottom, it says, handled these. What does handled these mean? My understanding is that these tweets contained non-consensual nude photos of Hunter Biden, and they were removed by the company under... Hold on, real quick, Mr. Roth. How could you know so much about the content of these tweets? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, these are just web addresses. I don't know what's in these tweets. You have these things committed to memory that you know the content, but you don't know who you talk to, you talk to at the Biden team? Sir, I didn't meet with the Biden team, but there was extensive public reporting about these tweets specifically that uncovered what they you were. You know the contents of the tweets. I, it was obviously at Twitter, but you have no idea how often people who worked in your organization had with the Biden team during the end of the 2020 presidential elections. I would emphasize that the people who interfaced with the campaigns were not part of my team or organization. I would know what the interactions were if they were on my team. It was a different part of the organization, not mine. Let me ask you a separate question, and I'll ask it of, of you too, Mr. Baker. Have you guys been able to quantify the amount of in-kind contributions associated with taking down the New York Post story? Because the New York Post story was down for two weeks, give or take. Do you have, do you have any uh, understanding of how, how much that story was limited by Twitter and also by other social media companies, what the impact of an in-kind contribution that would be to the Joe Biden presidential election in 2020? I don't know the answer to that question, sir. Do you think it's big? I don't know the answer. Do you think it's more than a maximum contribution to a campaign? I don't. I wouldn't want to speculate. Would you call it 25,000? I don't know the answer to that question. 100,000? Sir, I don't know the answer to the question. A million? I don't know the answer to the question. Do you think Twitter would be in violation of uh, federal election laws with the size of an in-kind contribution to take down a story, which is true, by the way, because you guys thought you knew something with limited information? 
I'm not going to speculate on that uh, sitting here today, sir. I try to give or try to propound a legal analysis of uh, election laws. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Chair recognizes Ms. Ocasio Cortez.